Hello, I'm Chris Lice Hearts. Welcome back to another exciting episode of Grandia. In this part, we're going to head on and and go up the stairs. So, where does the stairs take us? To a bunch of secret places. A bunch of uh, hidden walls and out into the back room of this place. So, what we're going to do is we're going to recover and also, I'm also going to have a safe point up here. So, come on, come on, hurry up. We got the Port of Parm taken over for the Church Passage. So, we're going to head in here. No, actually the door's shut off there, so we got to go up these boxes. So, okay, this is where we go in. Justin. Oh, it looks like they've already started. Do you, Pacon, take Fina as your off lawfully wedded wife, to love and cherish in sickness and health for as long as you both shall live? Oh yeah, oh yeah, you betcha. Oh no. Now if anyone objects this wedding, please uh, let them speak now or forever hold their peace. What's going on here? Father, this isn't right. And now the groom may kiss the bride and be forever and holy. What? Kiss the bride? Now, Fina, this is where we kiss. I'll do the kiss. All you have to do is pucker up. Hey, it's okay. I'll kiss you, uh, gently. I'm holding back. That creep pick, I'm going to put a stop to this right now. Just we can go this way. Let's go, Sue. Let go of Fina right now. If you even get one drop of your snot on her, I'll beat you to a pulp. Huh? Yuck! Let Fina go, Pecon, or I'll bust up this whole wedding. That's right, Pecon. A wedding should be a bride's dream come true. This is a sham and we won't allow it. <laughs> I'm not going to let you ruin my wedding. Master Chain, come, come get him. Come on. Oh lord. It is round two with this sucker. It is round two. Ha, huh, just I invited Master Chain just in case something like this came up. Oh, it's you, I'm not letting you get me again. Fight. And we're gonna have a wedding brawl. <laughs> it's time for a wedding brawl. So the third this is technically our third boss fight in this game. So what we have here, he's about to use some kind of skill and that's what I don't want. So I did not pick up on any healing items for this time around, but we do have more magic, so that's something good to get. Hopefully this doesn't paralyze, uh, like stuns us and stuff. 60 HP, and this should do about 80. No, only 30? Oh no! It's gonna hit. It's gonna hit Sue. Great. Not gonna have it. Oh my goodness gracious! Stomping on a girl like that, that is rude. 102. Oh no, I think Sue's stunned too. Let's just hit him with a V slash. V slash! Axe level is up. Sue, get yourself healed. I'm just gonna have her heal this turn. Actually, let's see what um, this sucker's gonna hit. It's gonna hit just in this turn. Pound around, so I should be safe. So sh Sue should be safe to heal herself. Come on, get up! Three. You're really hitting. Oh man, eleven damage for that. And uh, what should I do, Sue? 
I'll have you attack him just regularly. That was pretty... That did not look pretty good. And magic seems like it's very useless against him. It's a good way to train up magic, but no, that's not the way I'm going to do it. And he has Tornado on someone who is it just in this turn. So I'm just going to have Sue leave, uh, leave him off with um, healing. Sue's just going to stay, uh, going to be on standby for heal. Yep. I think I'll have enough to heal, but it's only going to be enough, just like, uh, just enough just to heal a little bit of the damage off. Most of it, but not all. So, another tornado coming. Spin kick? That did not look right. That does not look right. I should put a sensor point on that, but... Yeah. Yeah. That just does not look right. And I think that was an AoE attack as well, so... Gotta be kind of careful with that. 231... 23, and another 26... Now, if I had enough for another V-Slash, I think I would have finished him off, but... Let's go with another round of attacks. Sue will not be able to outrun him, so... Oh my god! Sue, do a Rod Rock cheer this time around. That's why I had her SP saved up a little bit. You know, this this attack it comes in pretty well. That skill comes in pretty well. Because it's tornado attack, so... Let's see if I can get him to stop. Justin, just regularly attack him. <laughs> no, he stopped. Oh, no. Spin kick again. So, since last time we did not give you the chance to kill him, you get the kill this time around. Unless if he runs around and avoids. There we go. Mm-hmm. 235, that should have enough to level Sue. But not enough to level Justin. Well, Sue did get a lot of good um, bonuses this time around. I do have to say. What are you doing? You're messing up our wedding! It's It was messed up from the beginning. What kind of wedding is this anyway? She took Fina and forced her into it. Yeah, so what if I did? As president, I got the right... Okay, Fina, no wedding, no pass. Are you going to give it back? I'll forgive you if you change your mind now, so... Dear Fina, come find my arms. Fina, come on, let's get going. Fina? Huh, she can't do it. She knows if she gets up that pass, she'll never ha have another adventure. Back in here, take your silly old adventures pass. I don't need it anymore. What, what are you saying? I finally remember something. An adventure is free as the wind. Fina? How could I forget such a thing? We choose the adventurous path to be free like the wind in the clouds. No one decides where the wind blows. This path cannot bind the soul of a true adventure. Farewell. Tomorrow I will be one with the wind. Only I will decide where to blow. Ah, my f dear Fina! Thank you, Justin and Sue. You rescued me. Yes, but you're not a member of the, of the adventure society anymore. Right, and I'm glad... To too. I'm no longer who I was until today. So let's go, all three of us. Uh, Pekon can go cry his tears out if he wants. Eek! Huh? What the? Hip hooray! Congratulations to the new newlyweds! What? <laughs> Hey, look at this! Young and innocent, they're so shy and so cute. Look, they made for each other. It's true, I'm so envious. 
I'm sure they'll hope uh, some days I'll have a beautiful like her. Huh? Hey, who are you? What happened to Mr. Pecan? Uh, well, uh, well, um, what am I saying? I won't be a party pooper. This is a way, a joyous occasion. Time to celebrate. Yeah, that's right. So, let's push them well to their new life. Why, oh, don't they look good together? A lovely couple. <laughs> Sue has to join in on this occasion. <laughs> well, I can't believe it. What do we do now, Fina? And what do we do? Well, let's go back to my house. It's embarrassing to stay here. <laughs> and... It'll end off with a good note. So we're just going to head back to Fina's house and we'll see from there. <laughs> this is so funny. Everyone knows I didn't marry Pecan, but they keep on partying anyway. You should have seen Justin's face. He, it was so funny. He looked so bewildered. And that was something. <laughs> oh, man. Well, both of you must be tired, eh? Please make yourself at home and rest here as long as you like, okay? So much has happened since the day I finished up setting up this tent. I remember the day I let uh, a little lost sheep sleep in my bed with me and, my, and when my tent was almost blown down. This tent always gave me a warm welcome. When I, I when I had come back after a few days on an adventure. So tell me, Justin, how, d how did you feel the night before leaving on your adventure? Were you afraid? I'm afraid? Why would I be afraid? I was too excited to sleep. Okay, maybe I was a little worried. <laughs> Without knowing it, I came to think that the real adventures are those sanctioned by the adventure society. That's pretty strange, eh? I mean, people must have had adventures long before that society was formed. i really like to uh, go see all those sites you'll see, be seeing, but... Fina? Okay, that's uh, enough for today. It's bedtime. Justin, so you'll be leaving early tomorrow, right? I believe so. Uh, we're just going to go to bed and get back up. <sighs> Phew. And where's Fina? I wonder where she went. Let's see. Mm, Fina, come to Dom Ruins with us. Fina, come. Uh, Sue's talking in her sleep. She always talks in her sleep. And I don't think I'm going to have enough time for this. So in the next part, we're going to see where Fina's uh, up to and we'll and see what's going on with her. So in the next part, uh, we'll, see, we'll see you then. This is Chris Lightsheart signing out. Thank you very much for tuning in and we'll see you next time.